In this video, I'll go over how to use Auto Outline in LibreOffice. Hi, my name is Michael, and I'll make quick tips and video tutorials on how to use Calc software. So let me head over to my other sheet. Here I just have some data I put together to represent a sales report for a couple categories of furniture and for a couple quarters in the year. So what is Auto Outline? If we go to Data in the menu, and then choose Group and Outline, here we have an Auto Outline feature. All I have to do is click it once, and now you see along the column and row grids on the top, it looks a little different. But what Auto Outline does in short is it automatically groups your data based on formulas or references. So what that means is here what I have in my first quarter column, we can see it's just a column of formulas. Here on the formula bar, we see it's just a sum. If I press on the F2 keyboard shortcut, it shows me that it's adding up the first quarter sales quantities for a specific item. And same thing here along my blue rows. This is just a formula that's giving me a subtotal for that specific month for the category of furniture other. So, so far, Auto Outline hasn't done anything to benefit us except to add something up towards the top. But the functionality here is what makes it useful. If I click here on this minus icon, here, it automatically hid columns from F through H. It basically hid the detailed information in my sales report to just show me the second quarter sales results. Now, let me do that here with this icon as well. So in a way, it quickly hid the details so I can focus on first and second quarter sales results. Sometimes it's easier to read or if you're presenting to your boss or coworker, this helps. And then when you wanna get to the details, just click on the plus icon, which will expand the details back. Same with here. Now, if we notice on the left side for the rows, it also has this minus icon and it has a bar vertically to represent one grouping. And the same here represents another grouping. So if I minimize the groups, now we see data that just focuses on the furniture categories. And I don't have to worry so much about the details in this view. I think it is a very neat feature. And if you've noticed, in each category, I actually have different number of rows. For my furniture seating category, I actually have more items than the furniture other categories. Calc automatically forms the groups for me just due to the fact that I have formulas across and vertically, and it forms this auto outline for me. Now, if you notice here, there's a one and two icon, same with this. So let's click it to see what happens. When I click on a one, it actually contracted both groups for me. And if I click on two, it expands it back. Same with here, if I click one, it'll contract the item details. And then if I press two, it expands it back for me. So this is pretty neat. In fact, I might even dare say pretty nifty for Calc to have such a feature to allow us to organize our table in a very easy way. And lastly, if you don't want the auto outline anymore, you can always go back to data, group an outline, and choose remove outline. So now it's just back to my original sales report and there isn't any of the dynamic grouping or expanding or contracting functionality anymore. So hopefully you can apply this to your reports or your sheets as well. Let me know how it goes, if you're able to do it successfully or not. Because you're interested in watching how to organize your sheet with auto outline, I recommend you to watch my other video about how to set alternate row colors or a layout theme in LibreOffice Calc. It'll make your sales report look much better with some colors and formatting that you can apply over and over again to all your spreadsheets. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay nifty.